Yeah, thank you very much for having having me here. So the first first time that I uh, attended uh, this community time. Uh, so actually, uh, my talk it's uh, also has a title like a parallel uh, there, but actually I think it's just like a, a little bit uh, different parallel uh, stages methods, not really like a parallel time. So hopefully you still uh, uh, can get something from this. But uh, um, okay, so. Um, so this is a parallel financial record method. I, I call the title like this, and um, <clears throat> so we'll talk about um, first uh, the problem class that uh, this work focuses on, which is uh, basically the steep uh, parabolic PDEs. So after the uh, space digitization, yeah, we get some steep initial value problem. And then I will talk about the uh, a little bit about the exponential regular method. <clears throat> And uh, just briefly about the type, uh, how do we uh, like uh, kind of implement uh, the method? Uh, uh, and then I talk about the uh, the construction of the um, the polarized status method. <clears throat> and finally, some some numeric experiment. Okay. So I think that yeah, I uh, think that you may heard already something about the uh, uh, the problem this, uh, one, in one of the talks yesterday that uh, I think Thomas will give uh, uh, about the exponential uh, method. So here this kind of similar problem we have here is a um, uh, parabolic PDE. So, so after the space digitization, one usually gets a, uh, I mean, semi-linear uh, form like this. So we have the linear path and then the non-linear path. Um, with some initial condition here. <clears throat> so the case that I'm interested in here is that uh, the problem it, it is uh, it's steep in the sense that uh, let's say here we have uh, uh, the steepness come from the linear path and uh, you could have the, the norm of the, the, the operator A here is a really large or even uh, unbounded operator. And the non-linear here is it's like a small non-steep. <clears throat> so, uh, so as you know, the classical time integration method, like a run record time method, uh, what we do is just to, to write out the exact solution in, in terms of the integration into integral form like this. Uh, and then we have to integrate the whole uh, right-hand side, uh, which is denoted by F here. And so that involving already the uh, steep need here. So, uh, so, and we have to approximate the integral by some quadrature rule, yeah. <clears throat> so that here, just a quick, uh, like uh, uh, overview, uh, what what actually we uh, uh, we have if we have uh, let's say you, if you have the, 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 the classical method you derive from this formula here, like the classical running methods, the explicit method for example, then actually you can use uh, okay the non steep shower and. Uh, However, you have clearly the time step restriction due to the, uh, let's say the CFL condition, you have, uh, let's say approximately the time step smaller, needs to be smaller than one over the leaf seed constant of the right-hand side here. And therefore for, for, for um, I mean, yeah, what you just need to, 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 to find the, the uh, function evaluation here, but uh, for large application and really steep prompt, and this is really small time step, and this is unrealistic for 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 large simulation uh, for, for really big system. On the other hand, if you have the implicit method, I mean the standard method, you could have the steep shower, and of course you you don't have the time step restriction, but uh, you have to to uh, show the nonlinear system, and you have the non nonlinear shower, you have to find. Uh, so I mean the Chagall matrix, and usually if we want to get a, uh, a really efficient method, we have to use a really good preconditioner for this. Okay. So um, then, uh, what I want to talk about now is the, the difference between the different approaches that to, we we have uh, here the exponential method, uh, exponential integrator. So. So here you can see I keep the first uh, uh, idea for the classical time integration. Here is the uh, the exponential idea. 
that you, you heard yesterday already, but uh, I repeat here for those of you who never, uh, maybe didn't attend yesterday, but, um, but yeah, the idea is to like this way now, just like uh, using, uh, let's say, you know, integrating factor method or the variance in the constant formula. Uh, so many ways to, 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 to show this formula and you can represent uh, now uh, the solution in terms of the um, uh, exponential here, the linear part, linear part here, and with the previous uh, solution here, and then you have the uh, integer, but we have the exponential factor here, or the non-integer here. So the idea is to actually to keep this part to, let's say, integrate exactly, and then approximate this part, because the G is non step is small, we can, let's say, just using some kind of Taylor series expansion, so we can uh, have some, uh, uh, you can derive some scheme. So that is uh, exponential scheme as an idea. And that you can see that it, uh, because it's so exactly the linear path, so suppose that we don't have G here, we have just a linear problem, then, then clearly uh, this is automatically a stable method. And uh, so we do not suffer from CFA condition for the linear path. And uh, if you do integrate this part explicitly, then you, you have explicit integrator. So, um, so yeah, I, I recommend for this uh, reference here, the uh, survey article in Acta America. <clears throat> So here, the, uh, so now how we work on the idea to derive the first, uh, the simplest method here. So for example, you can just, uh, as I said, it's, uh, look at the T here, it's non steep. We just replace by, just take the first term in the Taylor series expansion around the TN UN, E of TN. Um, then you can actually just write down everything. Uh, uh, we have the corresponding scheme uh, that, uh, so is this one, this term is, is now no longer depending on the tau, you can put it out. So we can introduce this term as a phi one function. Um, so h phi one, but actually, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so you can put, we know this is by like a phi one function. So this is the way how the phi function come out. So like, a, um, and you can just like, a, uh, reformulate a little bit, or you can uh, change the variable, you get this form for the phi function. But if we look at this, this is already the exponential Euler scheme. Uh, so we have the two metric function, exponential 8a un here, and then another metric function, phi one, times the vector g and g here. However, we can do this, uh, in reformulate this so that we can get only one metric function by just uh, play with the G here. We replace by F minus A of U from the original equation. So, and then we use the fact that we can actually explicitly find the phi one formula like this. So the e to, e to Z minus one over Z for scalar. And so we can just get just now UN plus with this phi one, but I'll apply to the whole right hand side. So this is, uh, uh, now just we have to compute only one metric function, yeah. So it's more efficient than this way for implementation. So, and uh, this is a, a method of order one. And as I said, if you do take like a, if you don't have the, the uh, let's say let the a formal go to zero, and you have just a, a classical the non steep on the right hand side, and you recover the Euler method here because if I only let that it go, it go to identity. So it, it will recover the uh, Euler method. <clears throat> and uh, um, <clears throat> so now if we continue this idea, if we want to get a high order method, uh, then you can actually try to uh, approximate this, let's say integral by higher order quality rule. So for example, you can just uh, say, uh, here it's involving the metric exponential here, therefore the coefficient now also not a scalar anymore, so we involve the match coefficient, uh, the metric function. And so we have some internet, internet uh, uh, you can introduce the inter internal stages uh, to approximate for the inter in intermediate value here. Just very similar to the idea of uh, uh, run like a time method, yeah. And uh, at the end, uh, do the same idea for the variance transformula formula for this red term here, and then continue to using the another quarter root with the same node ci, and we end up with this formula. 
So this is the so-called the exponential uh, run record method. Then as I said, it's very similar to run record scheme, but 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 the coefficient now low logo scalar, but uh, matrix function up the up the linear part here. <clears throat> and uh, and so, um, uh, the coefficient here is usually the linear combination of the phi function, just like of the phi one you see there, but now we have the higher order, so we have the phi k function, just very similar to the phi one. So we go back to one slide right here, yeah, just uh, And as I said, uh, when a is uh, the formal limit, like the formal limit a is equal to zero, you get back to classical uh, rank of scheme. So, and again, we can also do the same idea to reformulate this scheme by uh, introducing, um, so just like uh, the difference between the, uh, the, the non-inerity uh, non evaluated at the internal stages and then the uh, GNT UN. And uh, we denote it by that factor by DNI. And usually we see that, uh, suppose that the G is by the Lipschitz constant, you can already see that this is a small enorm, which is O big of the, uh, the step size. And therefore, you can reformulate this scheme very similar idea. It's just, just a put, put the basin of the exponential Euler method you have seen before. So we just add additional term here. So this is like DNI and 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 we have one eight here, so that it already give you the remainder here. It's already O big up A to square, eight square. So we had the automatically uh, uh, order one for free. So this square would be more efficient for the implementation, of course. And then also later that uh, we found out that it's 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 uh, very convenient to do the error analysis as well. All right. All right, and so now just briefly talk about what people have done in the past uh, concerning so uh, the uh, order condition of this scheme. So actually, we have to 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 find, of course, similar to the RK method, we have to find the uh, order condition for the coefficient. But now uh, it become a metric function here, so that to 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 satisfy a certain uh, level of error, order of accuracy. So. Uh, so I say here's the non-steep order condition have, have been uh, derived by many authors in the past. So basically what they do, it's, uh, it's just using the classical Taylor series expansion for the coefficient uh, involving the metric function here, just like this, for example. So uh, you can see that if we do like that for the steep problem, then, then we would have the problem because uh, as I said at the beginning, uh, for example, the problem is really steep, the norm of A is really large or even unbounded operator then it is not feasible to, to expand like this way. And so, um, so therefore it, it's keep remain for this long time until the, this paper by Hoppo and Osman in 2005, where they end up with a way to uh, analyze uh, the steep arrow analysis. And then uh, with, we had the steep auto condition for the uh, SIP. <clears throat> and uh, so the question is remaining with the, uh, <clears throat> Sorry, the question remaining with uh, <clears throat> how uh, actually uh, <clears throat> one can go to higher order method, for example, order five or even arbitrary order for the steep order condition. So, so this is a, a this has been addressed in this paper uh, uh, in uh, Sinum in twenty thirteen. So here I just um, just recall this uh, step of order condition for the method up to order five here. So what what uh, we have seen before is that up to here out of four. So what I come up with and extend it to order five and even uh, the order condition for arbitrary order method using the B series. But I will not talk about this here. But I can just show you that here the step order condition look like uh, you see we need a sixteen order condition to get order five. And now all the order condition dealing with not a scalar. I mean, the number of order condition would be the same as the number of condition for order five or RK method, but this is now involving all the metric function. As you can see here, it's quite look quite complicated because uh, uh, for anything like argument like here, we have arbitrary arbitrary, uh, arbitrary square metrics, and we also have uh, kind of bilinear mappings denoted for kind of uh, uh, I mean the, 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 the uh, derivative uh, thing like this, but uh, it's written in general form here. Uh, so yeah, it, then, then here it's kind of notation to make it uh, 
uh, sort for the write out the order condition. So you have the relation between the BI, the function, uh, coefficient BI and the phi function, and then the AIJ here. <clears throat> so I would go back later to when we do the error analysis, we see the uh, local error expansion to see this, but, uh, but this is quite, uh, uh, Um, so, um, so now uh, just review some brief review some existing uh, exponential scheme that that kind of satisfy the, the steep order condition here. Uh, so here the, the the three method up to order four in the in the paper that I mentioned uh, uh, by Hauptbuch and Osterman. But we what we can see here you can see that yeah this is a two state method this is a three state method and this is a uh, five state method to get order four. Um, <clears throat> but what we can see here is that uh, the way that the structure of the method is that uh, you always have to implement in, 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 in Syria. You cannot compute in parallel anything because uh, 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 the dependent between the internal stages here. So, we, so you see that here the mark in red, for example. So the next interstate at UN3, for example, this scheme need to use information from this step. And then again, you went four, you went three and so on, you went five. So this is make the whole thing is you cannot really implement anything. Um, so we need to be implemented uh, in a sequential way. So here, for example, we need uh, one, two, three, four and five. And uh, because of the structure of the last state here involving the mean combination of two different type of five functions with two different argument, one half here, and then one here, so this is, I think it's like, yeah, six sequential, uh, sequential evaluation we need to, to deal with here. Okay, and, um, and, and for the, 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 actually there's only existing, uh, like a method order four, we have only one existing method order five, which satisfies the steep order condition. Um, which actually require a state to show, and this is quite complicated. I will not go into detail, but just to show you how 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 the scheme look like. But again, the same uh, observation here is that uh, this scheme cannot actually also uh, implement in parallel or, or uh, because of the the, uh, the dependent of the inter stages here. So you say depending on each other. Yeah. So the pre depending on the preceding stages. So. <clears throat> So as you can see now, uh, just a little bit about, you see on the exponential scheme here, I already reformulated in, in, in the, the, the linear combination of, 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 of uh, five function with a vector here. We could either go back to the original scheme that you have just look like this, but I reformulated, I write in the form so that you can see this is what we need for the implementation. We need to, to compute the linear combination of such metric function with a vector here. So not to compute a single term, but try to compute the mean combination. So there, exi there, there exists some uh, state of the art method in the literature here. Uh, I listed here, you can see that. Uh, uh, depending on whether the metric is really big or just small, we have a uh, different method, but, uh, but in this work, I, I just use one of the, our improved uh, uh, code here. It, that's the so-called the, the, the uh, improve adaptive Krylov's method by on the incomplete orthogonalization method here. <clears throat> so there's a link here. So what actually this code do is actually that we can actually compute not just one linear, linear combination, but we can compute multiple linear combination by one, one cone to, to, to the function here. Uh, so given the fact that we need uh, uh, the set of vector would be the same. So you see here V0, V1, V2 to VQ, it's the same for all the n in a combination here. Then we could have a different argument inside. Yeah. Then we can actually compute by one evaluation. So we will use this idea, then go back to the exponential regression scheme that uh, if you can formulate all the internal stages, you build that in a way that all the internal stages have the same structure like uh, an inner combination of one uh, up, up, up the five function with the same set of vector, or then you can actually compute simultaneously. Yeah, so that, that the idea. So, uh, but uh, but then combined with the observation we had before, is that uh, uh, all the existing method before cannot uh, implement in parallel. 
And so now the question is, um, and even some some scheme we see that some some very last states that involving not just one linear combined agent but multiple different linear combined agent where you need a different uh, evaluation to do this. So then the question is uh, to look uh, to check whether we can do uh, improve this. So, um, so here it uh, so so I go back to see the the, the conversion read then so uh, to find the reason behind. And what actually I found is that so the older method uh, constructs before it beyond a, a very uh, like a weak con conversion design where many of the order conditions uh, relax. So is, instead of using the stronger full form of the metric function, but some of them are re replayed by zero. And so that just make the, the total things uh, at the end when to do. Uh, and people also want to minimize the number of stitches. That's why it, it end up with a structure all the way like a, we cannot do we cannot have anything independent of the other. So, so, um, so therefore, the idea to build the, the, the kind of new, set of new method is that try to uh, uh, establish a strong conversion rhythm, and uh, so that we do not need to re, uh, relax many of the order conditions. So, and uh, uh, build the, uh, the, the the stages in a way that we can just get the uh, as many possible independent of it one another so that we can compute in parallel or we can try to build at the same time with the structure I just mentioned that it's just an inner combination of, 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 of uh, five funds but with the same set of vector and same argument inside then we can hope that we can buy this and we get a more efficient method yeah so, uh, so here just briefly, quickly about the analytic, uh, an analytical framework that I use to, for the conversion analysis, basically very standard uh, uh, analysis work for the exponential method that uh, uh, let's say the linear operator A is the uh, infinite sigma generator of a semi, uh, uh, an analytical semi group um, on, on a Banach set X here. So we have some bow where uniform bow and uh, we have also the parabolic smoothing property we can use here and the solution is supposed to be smooth up to the, and then the non-indirecty here also sufficient is, uh, you can take it with fresh derivative up to the order you like. And uh, suppose that we have a really nice, well, that uh, regularity here that all of the uh, derivative as seem to be bounded. So here is the, that I want I mentioned before that I want to show you what the difference between this work and then the previous uh, expansion in terms of the local arrow is that I never expand the, uh, the coefficient bi and aij explicitly in terms of Taylor, classical Taylor series, but I do in a way that it keeps the, the coefficient. You see that in terms of the step size, uh, the power here is always something bounded operator. So just bounded operator here, all, all the way bounded. Also on the remainder term here, always bounded play on the two assumptions we have. So therefore we can get really kind of steep order condition. So, so we zeroing this term to up the order we want. So we end up with this table again. And uh, the stability uh, for, for exponential rank the method is quite standard because it, it keep, we keep the same operator from time to time, uh, A. So therefore, if you look at the global arrows expansion, so we see that this term clearly bounded by the semi group property. And therefore it, it's cheaper to see that the numerical scheme is stable. And uh, so as long as we have this set of order condition, but now uh, we, we can just relax only one order condition instead of relax many other like a previous work, we still can get the same order uh, conversion reason here. So basically, I just basic main idea like that. And then at the end of the day, it's at the bow here, the constant here is independent of the steepness. So the C here is very important, but independent of the, the norm of A. So, um, so here, the, then beyond this, we can actually observe that we can actually uh, show the order condition beyond this conversion reason. Uh, one can actually increase the number of stages to get more, uh, more degree of freedoms and 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 we we <clears throat> and then by re relaxing only one order condition, or I can actually do didn't I don't need to relax anything as well, and and the method expect to have the better stability, and um, 
and more accuracy uh, what I what I have seen from the uh, numerical experiment. So, so here the scheme, for example, the fourth order method, the new family of fourth order six state method. So it had one more step compared to the method order four before, but but actually you can see that here that that we have a pair of parallel stitches. So two pair here, you and three and four, you five and six. And they had the same argument, CI, in the argument here. They had this, uh, 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 they had, I mean, one in the combination. And that it actually behaved now just look like a four state method. And you, have, you can use a four processor to, to, to implement this uh, instead of six like before. And uh, uh, you can also compute this stages in, power, in simultaneously as well using the idea of the implementation. So. Now, similarly, for the fifth order method, it's much more involved because you now need to, up to use it uh, up to, from the paper I show it, it we need sustained stages. Uh, so it's, it's uh, to get us on a steep order condition handler so in, in a strong form. So it's a similar idea, a similar uh, method here is that we can get a, a method with the parallel stages. So like a three state, a three group of parallel stages here that you can implement in parallel. And then, although this is look like a stage stage, but it's actually it's a code of implement that it look like a, a just a five state method, yeah. And then it also understates it involve only one metric function and uh, linear combination metric function, yeah. And 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 we can either compute that also in simultaneously or, or, or in parallel. You can see all the the, the thing different before. Um, so I compare this uh, with the. Uh, uh, the same order method uh, without parallel stitches in the literature here from the scheme from the Hauk Osman paper. Um, for the first example here, it is just a 1D semi uh, linear parabolic PDE here, where we know the so first example we took here, just because we know the exact solution. And um, to check the conversion rate here, it's quite well here, fits with the uh, theory, both for the method of four out of four and five. And when we compare this, uh, the computational time with the, uh, the, the same uh, method of order, the same order, but uh, uh, cannot implement in, in parallel, then we see uh, we are significantly, uh, yeah, we're much, much faster here, you can see here, with the same level of accuracy. But, but even here, we can a little bit more accuracy than, than the previous one. So the fourth order here in blue, and this is now in pink, the new one, and the fifth order here. And this is a very really steep system because this is, uh, you can see the norm of this metric A. Now the second example, uh, one in nonlinear Schrodinger equation also. Um, for the space aggregatization, we use discrete Fourier transform and with the 128 modes. And we can see that uh, the same method here that uh, on those, uh, the, the, the time integration scheme here uh, converts uh, as expected and, and the new scheme are more, more efficient uh, than the, the old scheme with the same order. Yeah. And the last one is about the two, 2D uh, reaction diffusion, uh, the gray scott motor here. And uh, I think we get the same message here that, uh, yeah, uh, the new method is more efficient than the old one. And even, even you can see that it's it, 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 it more accuracy than the old one, a little bit more accuracy. So the method order four, here, this is a ping one here. It's with the same number of times that we get more, a little bit more accuracy and then faster. Okay, so then my conclusion here, the, I have presented a, a, a conversion reason that allowed to construct the two new family of fourth and fifth order parallel stages, exponential the method. And they, they can also implement in, in uh, simultaneously uh, using the, the efficient way for the implementation of uh, five function here. And this is uh, uh, the reference to, to the work uh, which has been already published this year. Thank you very much. Yeah.